From your desktop or any location, choose image you want to add. Simply paste the image in Figma. Image is now added. You can also add your image to fill shape. Draw some rectangle or circle or any shape you prefer. Change the fill property to an image. Choose desired image. You can adjust settings like contrast, saturation, and other. You can even crop the image within the shape. Adjust as needed. You can rotate the image easily. There are two ways. In the sidebar, go to Draft section. Click on Import File. Select your FIG file and click Open. Now your file has been imported into Draft section. Second method, navigate to your team and select Desired New Project. Click on Import File in the same way. Select your FIG file and click Open. As you can see, your file is now imported into a team project. Start by creating a rectangle or any shape you prefer. Click on Fill option, switch from solid to image. And now choose desired image. Edit the fill type to crop. Click and drag to adjust the crop area. Press Enter to finalize the crop. You can also adjust radius if needed. Click on the object you want to rotate. This could be text, shape, or even entire frame. It's up to you. Hover over the outside corner of selected object until you see double-ended arrow indicate rotation. Click and drag to rotate the object. Now hold down the shift key to lock rotation into specific increments. On the right side, find rotation settings. Input the specific degree value you want. For example, if you need 50, Degree rotation type 50. Alternatively, you can click and drag the rotation icon to visually adjust the rotation. If you ever need to reset the rotation to zero, go to rotation settings, enter zero in the rotation input field to bring the object back to original orientation. Use shape tool, for example, rectangle, ellipse, to create the shape you want. Every shape has fill. Click on the fill to switch it to an image. Choose image by clicking on the checkboard pattern in the fill options. Open desired image and it will place inside the shape. You can adjust fill options such as fill, fit or crop to control how image behaves within the shape. Fill option scales the image to fill entire shape, while fit and crop offer more control over positioning. If you have an existing image in your document, click on and drag it onto your canvas. Click on image, look at the fill properties and press Ctrl plus C. Click on shape, go to fill properties and press Ctrl plus V to paste image fill. After placing image, you can scale, move, and adjust its position within the shape or frame. Ensure that you set the fill properties according to your preferences. And you can also remove an existing background fill. 
the steps of the Twizzly Pad image into shape or frame in Figma. After importing an image into your Figma document, create a desired shape using the shape tools. To draw a perfect circle, click and drag while holding down the Shift key. This ensure that shape remains perfect circle. Release the mouse button when you achieve desired size for circle. Position the circle over the image to determine the cropping area. You can either click, right click on image and select bring to front. With both image and circle selected, right click and choose use mask from the context menu. Image is now cropped to the shape of circle. You can adjust the position of the crop image by dragging the mask around. Double click inside the mask to select manipulate image underneath, such as repositioning or scaling it. To further adjust mask, you can select the circle and resize it as needed. This allows you to refine the cropping area. First off, launch Figma and open your project. Click on the Resource tab. Inside Resource, click on Plugins. Locate the icon I plugin and open it. Browse through available icons and click on the one you want it at. Adjust resolution and choose between SVG or PNG formats. Another option, look for the Icon 5 plugin and run it. Explore the wide range of icons available. Click on Desire icon to add it to your Figma file. Feel free to experiment with different icons and styles. Some plugins allow you to customize aspect like color and size. And once you add the icon you need, save your Figma file. Ensure you have the Figma desktop app installed on your PC. Find and download the custom font you want to use. After downloading, extract the font files from compressed folder. Locate the font installer in the extracted folder. Run the installer and follow the installation instruction. Open your Figma desktop app. If it's already open, restart it to open a new font. Create a new text layer and check if the newly installed custom font is available. Open Figma in your browser and refresh the page to ensure it recognizes the new font. Create text layer in your Figma browser. And you should find the custom font in Font Selection drop-down. Choose the image you want to blur. Click on the image. On the right side, find Effects option. Under Effect option, locate Layer Blur or Background Blur based on your preferences. For text with background, background blue works great. Use the slider or input field to set blue intensity. For example, try value like 15. Instantly see blurring effect. Adjust as needed. Experiment the different value until you achieve desired look. When resizing frame directly by clicking on its corner, it may not scale its content proportionally. Select the frame that you want to scale, ensuring that all contents are inside it. Press the K key 
that activates the scale tool, which you can find under the move tool in the toolbar. With the scale tool active, click and drag on the frame to scale it up or down. By using the scale tool, you can resize the entire frame and its content proportionally, avoiding any distortion that may occur when manually resizing the frame. Zoom in, press Ctrl plus plus. For zoom out, press Ctrl plus minus. To zoom specific view, zoom to 100%. Go to View drop down menu and select Zoom to 100%. To fit, go to View drop down menu and select Zoom to fit. Zoom to Selection, select an object and press Shift plus 2 to zoom the selection error. To zoom specific error, hold down the Z on your keyboard. Then click and drag to select the error you want to zoom into. Scroll wheel zoom, hold down, control, and use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. This allows you to zoom to cursor position. If you want to change the background color of entire canvas area behind your frames, you can do this in the document color section. Click on canvas or any blank area in your Figma file. In the right sidebar, look for document color section. Click on the color switch next to background to choose new color for canvas. If you want to change background color of specific frame, select the frame you want to modify. In the right sidebar, you will see Design section. Look for the Fill option, which represents the frame background color. Click on Color Switch next to Fill to select new background color for frame. You can choose Solid Color, Guardian, Image or even Video as background for frame. Remember, changing canvas background colors affect the entire document, while changing the frame background color affect only the specific frame. Click on image that you want to replace. On the right hand side, find the fill property. Hover over the image thumbnail within the fill property. Click on choose new image. Select the image you want to replace it with and click Open. After replacing image, you can make additional adjustments such as scaling, cropping or positioning as per your design requirements. Press the Shift plus R to quickly show or hide rulers. Second method is Menu option. Click on the View drop-down menu. Hover over the Rules option. Choose Show Rulers to display them or hide to hide them. Using either of these two methods, you can easily toggle visibility of rulers in Figma. Go to Menu and click on View. Under Panels, find option Show left sidebar. Toggle it on or off to show or hide the left sidebar. Guiding entire UI. Go to View, find option to show or hide UI. Toggle it on or off to show or hide entire UI. So open Figma file. Select the file you want to duplicate, for example, this one. Right click on the file. And here, Choose Duplicate from Context menu. Now we will see that your file has been duplicated in Figma file browser. Go to the top right corner of toolbar in your Figma file. 
Click on Share button. In the Share model, you can generate a shareable link by clicking Copy link. These links allow anyone with access to view or edit your file. Another option is send to invitations by email. Enter email address of individuals you want to invite and set their permissions, view or edit. Third option is to publish your file to community. Fill in details like name, description and text, then hit publish. Click on object or whatever you want to export. Now navigate to export option. Instead of selecting PNG, change format to PDF. Now you can click on export. Open your Figma file. Now navigate to Figma icon in the top left corner. Click on File. Select Save Local Copy. Now your Figma file is saved to your desktop or specific local space. First, what you need to do is click on object you want to export. Now navigate to Export option. Instead of selecting PNG, change the format to SVG. Now click Export. And you have successfully exported your file as SVG in Figma.